this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LAW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 83. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how the routine man get database reports incorrect database activation state. This tutorial, sorry, this slide talks about the problem scenario and solution. The problem scenario is we want to demonstrate how the routine man get database reports incorrect database activation state. So there is a column db underscore activation underscore state in the output of the uh, routine mon get database it will tell basically when the database was activated not when actually it is going to tell uh, how the database was activated this particular uh, column is going to tell how the database was activated uh, either is it an implicit activation or was it an explicit activation so but for some reason it is not working it is showing the explicit value correctly but it is not showing the implicit value like if i implicitly activate the database it is just showing none actually um, so that is the uh, thing that we want to demonstrate here so the solution is uh, already uh, how to find out this particular uh, activation status uh, there is already a video tutorial available please uh, watch db2 tips and tricks video tutorial part 40 so let's get to the demonstration portion of the tutorial uh, so here i am just going to show you uh, so first let me start the instance okay and activate the database so that's the first so this is like an explicit activation right so let's do that in terminal 1 so here I am in terminal 1 so I'm starting uh, the instance db2 start okay it's taking some time and activate db uh, db name so this is the so this is kind of an explicit activation now so once the explicit activation is done, let us go to terminal 2, connect to the database, run the query like the mon get database, then do a connect reset. So it should show you, uh, so let's go to terminal 2, connect to the database, see look at the db activation state explicit. So because we explicitly activated it, so let me do the connect reset, okay done. Uh, then I am going to go to terminal 1, deactivate and connect to the database and leave it just there. So which means that it is an implicit activation. So let me go to terminal 1 and try that. Okay, deactivate and connect to database. So I am just leaving it there. So this is an implicit uh, activation. So once the implicit activation is done, so we should be able to see, go ag again to terminal 2. So I am running the same query again. Okay go to terminal 2 run the same query again so you can see here it is showing none actually i don't know why it is showing none it should say implicit right probably uh, but it is not showing it's just saying uh, none so which is which is what i want to demonstrate okay so after that what i'm going to do is go to terminal 3 and activate the database explicitly like for example like this right so which means it is already implicitly activated on top of it we are explicitly activating it so once that is done so we can run the same query again in terminal 2 and the, the status should have changed right basically that is what I am getting getting into right see from none it became explicit so the explicit activations are properly captured but probably I don't know why the implicit activation it is showing as none so I don't know so that's that's the whole point so do not use this man get db activation state so I think uh, for explicit activation it is good for implicit activation it should say implicit i don't know why it is showing none so that's the whole point of this video tutorial um, hope this information was useful to you please subscribe to my channel db2 luw academy in youtube.com uh, thanks for watching thanks for subscribing uh, see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye